As digital technology continues to invade different areas of my life, I find it pushing out other things that I once cherished or enjoyed. Case in point, I love reading, fantasy in particular. But where is my library of paperback books? Where is my Sanderson shelf? My escapist collection? Well, it's now right here. E-readers have made it more convenient. Though I lament the loss of the sensation of feeling and even smelling the paper, seeing the illustrations and words as intended. Other things like the film camera have been replaced by the infinitely more convenient and versatile digital camera. Music now is rarely encoded to physical media. Digital art is wildly popular. Board games now almost all have digital equivalents. But in every transition, something, no matter how superior the new medium is, is lost. Though one could argue that more is gained in some cases. In 2020, I found more of my life than ever taking place digitally. Work, play, social life, all through various devices. And I discovered something. The more I was in, the more relevant some things far removed from the digital realm became. Walks in nature, sun, the breeze, the sky were necessary. I also found that my brain needed to offload, to organize things in a physical manner, taking a physical form instead of a digital one. And I found myself using notebooks more than ever. Design of Things 21, The Moleskin Notebook. Perhaps this seems mundane, banal even, a simple notebook. Moleskin notebooks are pricey. Though I'm not confident this is 100% justified, the brand name itself carries a fair share of value. Nonetheless, there are some nice details that distinguish this from a cheaper version of the same thing. For comparison, we'll use this Amazon Basics imitator later. Starting with the exterior, a simple synthetic polypropylene material covering and protecting the notebook. Simple, but quite durable. A common sense choice. The rear of the notebook contains the branding debossed into the cover. The simple moleskin wordmark, interestingly still done in serif font. There's also this elastic band designed to keep the notebook closed. In some color choices, creating a nice accent. In others, blending in for a stealthy look. An additional design accent is the built-in fabric bookmark, easily marking your place. Opening it up to the inside cover features a stylish moleskin logo and a place to write a name and reward. The text color is never stark black and white. Rather, the contrast is reduced slightly by using gray to give it a softer and arguably more fashionable feel. In the rear cover, there is this pocket a signature feature of these notebooks, a place to throw little mementos, receipts, and the like. Then we have the paper, quite important. It has enough texture to allow for the point of a ballpoint pen to smoothly roll across the surface, and sufficient thickness for resiliency and an opacity so notes don't completely show through the back of the page. This also means that when you write on one page, the pressure is less likely to create marks on subsequent pages. While moleskin isn't perhaps the pinnacle of paper quality, it is above average. There are a variety of different types, unlined, lined, and graph, which is my personal favorite. But still, you may be thinking, it's just a notebook. Well, fair enough, it is. There are, however, some interesting details. And remember, 
the design is in the details that are readily apparent only in comparison. Let's pull back in this clone. We'll focus on three main areas, the paper, the binding, and the details on the cover. Starting with the latter, on first glance, it's exactly the same, but looking at the corners, some of the cover has cracked. The folding of the cover around the corners is less uniform. The elastic band has detached from the cover. Another important area is the binding. With use, you can see that the imitator has ballooned out, indicating that the binding has weakened, and it doesn't lay as flat. The moleskin remains strong. Finally, the paper just isn't as good in texture or weight. So is this worth the magnitude's higher price tag? maybe only for a small subset of the population, but the moleskin shows the importance of small details in creating a user experience with the product. Design is an experience. Until our next experience on Design of Things.